In today's video, I am going to show you how to download Jenny Motion and VirtualBox and also how to use it with Android Studio. So let's start our tutorial. First, start with searching on Google. Type Jenny Motion Download. Click on this link from JennyMotion.com. This site will provide you the download link. Now click on Desktop Sign In. First, create an account. Type username. In usage type, I'm selecting development and testing. Type your email address. Select your company type. Type your password. Select your country and check all checkboxes to accept privacy policy latest news and updates, and to accept terms and conditions. Now click on Create Account. So step 1 is Registration. It is completed. Second step is Activate your account. For that, you need to open the mail sent by Jenny Motion to your given mail ID. And click here. Now you can download. There is paid version also. I am now giving information about free version on this. So click on download Jenny Motion for personal use. Then click on this button. Download Jenny Motion Personal Edition. This page shows the system requirements to download in Windows. The system must have Windows 7 or 8 or 8.1 or 10 with 32 or 64 bit need minimum 400 MP disk space minimum 4 GB RAM etc. If your system is Mac or Linux you can find download link as you scroll down. Now click on download for Windows with VirtualBox which has 244 MP. If you already have VirtualBox installed in your system, you can download the link without VirtualBox. To avoid compatibility issue, I prefer downloading Genemotion with VirtualBox. After that, click on the downloaded executable file. Select setup language. As default, it is English. Click OK. This is the setup wizard showing the location of Genymotion getting installed. Click Next. Again, click Next. Click Next. And then click on Install. After that, it will start installing Oracle VirtualBox 6.0.4. Click on Next. Again, Next, Next, click on Yes and then Install. Click on Finish, then click on Finish of Jenny Motion installation. VirtualBox is showing an upgrade. I'm closing that widget. Now VirtualBox is opened. Type your username and password in Jenny Motion and click on Next. Select Personal Use, then Next. Accept the End User License Agreement, click Next. Next step is Create a Device. In Available Templates, I am selecting a phone with latest API. Click install. I am naming it as my phone. 
check use virtual keyboard for text input click install now start the install device this is the install phone just as an android phone with default applications settings etc now i will show you how jenny motion will work with android studio open android studio and open a project click on run after build that basic application is running on the emulator you can select other devices like avd by clicking on the drop down if you add jenny motion as a plugin in android studio you don't have to open from the desktop icon so let's watch that step 2 click on file settings then click on plugins type jenny motion click on install click accept click okay now restart android studio click on the icon for jenny motion Select the path to the Jenny Motion folder. Click OK. Now you can open your device from Android Studio itself by clicking on icon for Jenny Motion. Select your phone, click on Start, and enjoy testing. If you like this video please click on the like button share this video with your friends who is in need and subscribe to my channel we'll come up with the next video thanks for watching